the railroad companies now turned their attention to freight. The largest locomotives the world has ever seen were the Union Pacific's big boys. 130 feet long, 16 feet high, and 11 feet wide. At a million pounds, they weighed one and a half times more than a full jumbo jet. The locomotive consumed such enormous amounts of coal that it had to be fed in mechanically. The big boys were so long that the frame of the locomotive was articulated or hinged to allow it to go around curves in the track. Twenty-five of these giants were built between 1941 and 1944. Their main use was to haul heavy loads over the steep inclines of the Wasatch Mountains in Utah. They had to pull 4,000 tons of freight up 2,500 feet. They were so powerful, they could tow a train five and a half miles long. And despite their huge size, the big boys could reach speeds of 80 miles per hour. Only seven of the original 25 have been preserved, none in working order. This is Big Boy's little brother, the Union Pacific Challenger. It's the largest steam locomotive still operating in the world. It's 120 feet long and weighs just under a million pounds. This one, number 3985, is the sole survivor of the 105 Challengers built between 1936 and 1943. It holds 25,000 gallons of water and 6,000 gallons of fuel oil. It stands over 16 feet high. Its huge driving wheels are over six feet tall. The 985 stopped active service in 1962. It stayed in storage in the Roundhouse in Cheyenne, Wyoming until 1975 when it went on display as a museum piece. A group of Union Pacific volunteers took two years to restore her to running condition. Sand is added to the firebox. It gets sucked up into Challenger's tubes and clears out any soot that may block them. The Challenger has four wheels in its front pilot truck, which help guide the locomotive into bends.
Challenger's frame is articulate to guide it around curves. Challenger has one boiler and two engines. There are two sets of steam cylinders, each powering an independent set of six driving wheels. devastated by World War II, automobiles were beyond the reach of most people. 